Happy Wednesday. This is Mike here and I'm in the Lab Society R&D Lab and we're going to go over how to properly service and maintenance these flicket valves that we've been selling with our G3X systems. I've got two different ones here. I've got uh, the original prototype one that I've used countless times. As you can see, it's quite filthy. Um, and it's got the valve not inserted. This one has been used probably about six times and is the production model. You got the GL14 on here, proper angle. Um, and this one has not been cleaned yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to clean it. So the first thing we wanna do is make sure that we don't yank this thing out too fast with the O-ring stretch. So typically, as long as you haven't overstretched your O-rings, um, you shouldn't have a problem with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this from the piece of glass. Okay, I'd set my glass down. Um, and now I'm going to inspect this thing. So it looks like it definitely needs to be cleaned. So I'm gonna grab a spatula. Spatula is gonna be the best tool for this because I can finally get in here without breaking anything. Um, we wanna be careful not to damage the PTFE when we do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in at it from the side here and get the O-ring unseated, just like that. And then I'm gonna run my finger around and pop this O-ring out. As you can see, it definitely needs to be cleaned. And I can smell it. Um, these O-rings can stay put. It's just that one that needs to come out for cleaning. I'll do this again on this one here so everybody can watch me do that again. So I'm gonna gently pop in from the side here, pop it up, and then gently take my finger and pull this thing out. The key is not to stretch this O-ring. If this O-ring gets stretched, it won't fit snugly inside of the, the trough that was cut for it. So as you can see, these two O-rings are quite dirty. So how do I clean them? Um, if I stretch these O-rings out, like I said, they're not gonna work as well. So I need to be careful not to stretch them and I need to clean them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a, a Kim wipe. I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little alcohol on here. So now that I've got alcohol on my wipe, I'm going to gently, not stretchingly, wipe this thing off. If you apply too much force to this, you can stretch your O-ring. You wanna do this very gently. Do this to both O-rings. Okay, O-rings are cleaned. Next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is actually clean the valve stem itself. So I'm gonna to wanna to make sure I get my Kim wipe into, these, into the trough here because if there's any particulates from the previous run, any oil in there, that will affect my seal. So I wanna make sure that that's nice and clean. And obviously I wanna clean off the PTFE so I don't contaminate my nice new product with whatever was on this valve stem. Next valve, again, I'm gonna get right up in this trough here carefully. PTFE is soft, so you don't wanna to go too hard on this stuff because it, you know these valves are expensive, these are custom made. We don't want to uh, damage the PTFE by using harsh tools on it. So when you are pulling this O-ring out with the spatula, you wanna be very careful that you don't damage it while you're doing that. Again, I wanna really inspect the trough here of the valve to make sure that I don't have any particulates in here. Looks like I pretty much cleaned these things completely. So now that my O-rings are clean and my valve is clean, I wanna condition my O-ring. And you wanna use a tiny bit when you do this. Very, very tiny bit of grease. Like literally nothing. I don't know if you can see that in the chest can, but very, very little bit. And then we're gonna rub this O-ring down. Again, not stretching it. Stretching is not good for these O-rings, any kind of O-ring really, especially one that you wanna maintain shape. Again, another thing we wanna do is inspect the O-ring itself to make sure that there's no damage to it. It looks like this one has a little, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but there's a actual piece of this O-ring compromised. This O-ring probably needs to be replaced, but I bet I can still get it to seals. I'm gonna go ahead and still use it, but I would encourage you to have extra ones of these in case you do damage them. So now to reinsert the O-ring onto this, there's a very strategic way to do this without bending it and without, and there also needs to be a slight rotation to the O-ring so that it actually fits. So first thing I'm gonna do is insert the O-ring into the top of the trough up here, just like that. Run my fingers down the side and as you can see, that kind of fit it into the beginning of the trough. And then for the rest of it, I'm going to stretch it. Boom, just like that. 
So I, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's a twist in the O-ring right here and a twist right here, which is normal. This O-ring appears to be seated well. Now we'll do another one. I'm going to press it into the front end here. Now that I've got it about halfway inserted into the trough, I'm going to go ahead and push this forward. Boom. And then slide my finger around. It's very important that you make sure that the O-ring is fully seated before reassembling this into your system. So I've now serviced two of these valves. So the last step I'm going to do before I operate is I want to actually apply grease to these upper seals. And this is so that I get a good seal against the glass. Don't be shy on this part because it's far away from your material. So you don't have to worry about this contaminating. This is part's more important that we actually get a good seal on it. Other thing I want to do too is make sure that my glassware is clean. You know, because if it's not clean where I'm going to be seating the, the O-rings, it's not going to seal well either. Beautiful. All right, so now with my upper O-rings greased and my lower O-rings serviced, I'm gonna slowly insert, insert this in, give it in, giving it slight wiggles so that it's nice and seated in there. And then I'm gonna start turning. Okay. One way you can tell if the O-ring is sealed is you can actually see it pressed against the glass. Looking good. Second one here. Again, as I insert, I want to give it some rotations here, just like that, just like that. Okay. Looks like we have a good seal here. Beautiful. Two serviced pieces of glass. So now, the, now that I've serviced my valve swing arm, I can go ahead and assemble my system. And we're good to go. Thanks for watching.